Hello, this is Lake, and I'll be teaching you how to format a SD or micro SD card using an Apple Macintosh computer. Please make sure that you have the SD card inserted into your computer. Okay, so let's navigate to Finder, and once we're in Finder, you're going to go under the Devices section, where you'll see your SD card. Once you click here, you're going to want to right-click, and when you right-click, you're going to click Get Info. Now we're going to check the file format of the SD card. This one is currently on EXFAT. We're going to need to change that to MS-DOSFAT. So now we can close out of this window. What we're going to do is we're going to go over to the Spotlight tool in the taskbar. It's the little magnifying glass. Now we're going to type in Disk Utility and hit the Enter key. This will open up the Disk Utility application. Now we will navigate to the left side of the application. Right here we'll see the SD card. We're going to select this and head over to the right side where we have a couple options. We're going to click the erase option. We're going to come down where it says format. It's going to say ms-dos-fat. This is the correct file format that we want to format the SD card to. Once this is selected, we can move down to the name option to where you can give this device a name. I'm going to leave it as untitled and move down to the erase option. I'm going to click this. Once selected, it's going to ask you, are you sure you want to erase all the files on this disk? You can go ahead and click erase. Once selected, it will automatically format the SD card to MS-DOS FAT32. Now that this is completed, we can exit out of this application. Now we're going to navigate back to Finder, and we're going to make sure that the SD card has been formatted properly. We will once again select the SD card. Once selected, we will right-click and click Get Info. Once this pops up, you will notice it says MS-DOS FAT32. This indicates that it has been formatted properly. Now what we can do is we can close out of this window and we can eject the SD card. Now your SD card is ready to be inserted into your camera. Thanks for the watch guys. Again my name is Lake and I hope you'll have a great day.